I'm pretty sure I've just stumbled across one of the best indie VR games of this entire year. Oh yeah, more of that please. It was recommended to me in a comment, and normally that means a game is unplayably bad, but I saw the reviews and the fun little cube art, and I thought, you know what, why not? That one too, go get that one too. Good boy. And it's somehow so charming and so good, while also reaching abyssal depths in the uncanny valley. This is unintentionally the scariest game I've ever played. It's called Ancient Dungeon, and it has this adorable old school runescape meets Minecraft aesthetic. Wow, this looks so cool. Except for the freaky life-size demon man. But that aesthetic hits kind of different in VR. I don't really know why. I mean, it's a very dimly lit game for starters. I'm brightening it in Premiere just so you can see it. It's pixel art, but it's... Why does it move so smooth? I'm telling you, this hits a weird spot in the Uncanny Valley. Interesting. Hello. That's not horrifying. And on top of that, they aren't small little sprites on your computer screen. This is a full-sized thing standing in front of you. It really just does not look natural. That is haunting. Please stop moving. Please stop moving. <laughs> Oh my god, I cut his head off. It was just very unexpected how slightly off-putting everything was, but slicing and destroying it all was very satisfying. Adventurers entered zero, adventurers that returned zero. <laughs> okay, we got a clean slate. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, oh. Cool. Bonk. Yes. Oh. Oh, that's not good. There's these little collectible power-up things that you can get as you go along that I started picking up without even reading, which is a shame because I would have loved to have seen what the description of this power-up was. <laughs> damn, damn. I feel like if this lasts more than four hours, I should call a doctor. But regardless, that giant throb... Not gonna make that joke. But regardless, having that giant sword was really helpful because this game is a lot like Frenzy in that most of the objects crumble into dust or can be cut in perfect ASMR fashion. Oh, look at that cut. Oh, that's so good. Who just, who is spitting, what is that? Do I want that? Is that a good thing? Is that a bone or a key? It could go either way. <laughs> And for a generic dungeon crawler made by one or two people, there's actually a lot of good lore and a lot of good stat tracking in this game. I got 11 insight. Well, I'm glad my death was insightful. I mean, it's simple lore. It's not going to put Elder Scrolls out of business, but it is funny. Adventures entered one. Adventures that returned zero. Second time's a charm. Hello. Hello. Actually, I don't know why I'm doing that. I have Premiere. I can just do that for real. Hang on. Hello. Never mind, I don't actually know how to do this. Oh, oh, what is that? Is that a person or a plant? I think that's a person. Okay, oh. Pause, hello. Skip to this time code to get right back to the content. For the people who have me on in the background right now or have your hands full, I am sorry that you have to sit through this. I will try to make it quick, but the change my name literally every week meta is showing no signs of stopping. It's Hobbit, Spastic Ninja Hobbit. See, what did I say? Spastic Ninja, hang on, is that an Among Us ghost? That's me, G, Dax of the Wolfie, I forgot about this one, my money's going, Tyler Spark, aka Happy, Shareholder? Done in 1971, okay, for a little time, Tony the Crusader, Abby's favorite, nope, I love how, I love how hard you work to always post bangers. Man. Guy watering fries in a bucket. <laughs> I, I respect that there's always a picture to go with these. Abby, I hope you have a happy holiday. Abby, I hope some of you respect comments you take food to the room, jazzy pants, blue light, and monkey monkey. Stop it. Get some help. Oh, I got one of these things. <laughs> This game is so weird. Ooh, it makes little noises. Oh, no, no! 
Dang it. Okay, that's my fault. I deserve that. Every time you die, you're dead. You're just another person claimed by the dungeon, and you spawn in as a completely different person. Oh. Well, what is the point of that? I, I forget every single time I die. And this demon man I mentioned earlier just watches every single new explorer go in and die without ever warning any of them. Metro number one has perished while exploring the ancient dungeon. Though the death is lamentable, I'm happy to report my observation of the delve has provided the following additions to our current body of knowledge. This guy is a monster, and behind him he keeps a record of every single thing you find as well as your total discovery of the dungeon so far. So there's three more different levels, and I saw this one in the trailer. So I have no clue what these are going to be. I find most dungeon crawlers boring. The loop feels pointless to me, but this stupid little lore setup is enough to trick my brain into not feeling like dying is pointless. If I jump down this, will it kill me? I don't know what the rules are. Oh, I can push this down there. Let's see. Yeah, I don't trust that. It makes sense why this random indie game has so many positive reviews. It's really solid. What is that? Okay. Whatever it was, it's very dead. Can I try and block this? I can! Even though I would argue it's also terrifying. I really want to try killing him, but I feel like if I do, I'll end up unleashing some unspeakable horror. I think at this point, I've made around 10 attempts at getting to whatever lies beyond the mushroom biome to no avail. Again, every time I make it to the infested dungeon and I have half of a heart. I, like, there's no health anywhere in this game. I'm dedicating all of stream today to actually surviving this dungeon for once and seeing what lies beyond. Oh, oh, I didn't know that. That was a thing. Okay, okay. I have half a health. But other than that, that is all I got. There is no more content left. However, you know, these things to a more immature person uh, would be very funny. But uh, I am a grown man, and I do not find these things funny in the slightest. I have been making this content on YouTube for over three years now, and it feels like it has all led to this moment. Because Gamersubs has reached out, and if you don't know, they're the geniuses behind Guacamole Gamer Fart. And I'll be honest, I want brain smoothener or brain polish to be a real thing. I want that to be a real consumable liquid that you can drink without dying. And the only way to do that is to sell Gamersubs. So even though over the last three years, I have never once asked this community for anything, that changes today. I want to make brain polish a thing. We need 2% of everyone watching this to buy gamer subs to even start to qualify for our own flavor. We need basically everyone who's still here at this point. So I don't know if we'll be able to actually pull this off or not. I will link it below if you're hearing my voice right now. Go get literally anything from Gamersubs' website, and for the love of God, remember to type in code HABBY at the end, otherwise no one will know what you were doing it for. It won't count. And also, if you do it today, that code will also get you free shipping as well. What is that? Oh my god. I have never seen one of those before. What is that? They're actually a really cool brand. Their website is an experience to say the least, and I'm kind of honored that they even want to work with me. And I realize the only reason they want to work with me is because of you. So thank you, internet stranger. I hope something good happens to you today. And as far as I'm concerned, if you give me the privilege of your time again, I will see you in the subreddit, actually. Believe it or not, people are actually posting to the subreddit now, and it's not awful. Like these are actually funny. So good job, subreddit. Anyways, goodbye. Oh no, I cut just like a little bit off the top. There's a name for that procedure. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.